Alright guys, it's another lovely uh, mid-August day in the first week of May. Good fucking God. What is it? it is Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day here in the shithole oven state of Texas. And I uh, guess heading up, I've heard 102 with a 109 uh, heat index where I'm going. I'm uh, here on Sunday, May 8th, 2022. As my prediction, the summer of 2022 for the shithole state of Texas, you're going to see people die in this summer. Uh, I understand. I, I'm going to hear Patty Griffin at Green Hall Dance Hall, and I hear there is no air conditioning uh, to this day in Green Hall. Uh, so wish me luck. So anyway, being Mother's Day, I was, you know, I, I was thinking uh, of reading this story from uh, that. Uh, brother Aaron sent to me. I don't know if you remember that woman in sub-Saharan Africa having those nine children. Well, I guess they're one years old, one year old, and, uh, and the happy mother and the mainstream media <coughs> doing this warm, cuddly little Mother's Day story, I guess. Good fucking God. But anyway, I just didn't have the stomach for it. So uh, I'm just going to tell you this story uh, uh, that happened to me last night because I think it's a funny story. And, and I don't know what, <coughs> what the message is in this story. So anyway, I have known this, this friend of mine. Uh, we're going to call her... Uh, Shit, what can I start calling my female friends? We're going to call her Linda Lou. So I met Linda Lou, I'm thinking 20, 21 years ago. That Linda Lou uh, has been a friend of mine. And uh, actually, she used to work for me when uh, I was a clueless moron real estate agent, uh, a fellow picker. Uh, she's a flute player is what she is so we've had a couple of uh, ups and downs in our relationship but we've always remained friends so anyway the last time I saw I saw Linda Lou uh, was Thanksgiving of 2019 we had she showed up at Thanksgiving 2019 and she had, she was, well, she would have been 56, 55 or 56 then, because uh, she's 58 now. Uh, so anyway, when the last time I saw this woman, I, I barely, I, well, I didn't recognize her. She had to just uh, sheepishly let me know who she was. She had completely gone to seed. I mean, she was 55, 56 years old. She weighed 220 pounds. She used to weigh, I'm guessing uh, that Linda Lou weighed 140. I'm guessing it's about 5'6", 140. I mean, she was attractive enough, but she, you know, just a, 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 an, an attractive, but you know, not beautiful and not unbeautiful 55 uh, year old woman just melting into the scenery well she had completely gone to uh, gone to seed her weight had shot up to 220 pounds somehow she had lost one of her front teeth she uh, her hair was all chopped up and kind of spiky. She had this, uh, like this, uh, Aunt Jemima, uh, the form, the artist formerly known as Aunt Jemima do rag wrapped around her head. Was wearing this uh, Mexican peasant dress. Uh, I, I, I mean, the woman had just, just completely 
just abandoned any pretense of keeping herself up and whatnot and I was thinking god damn uh, what in the hell has happened to Linda Lou so anyway uh, I just bid her farewell and then of course I think we all know what has happened from November between November of 2019 and, and, and May of 2022 so anyway I had pretty much forgotten uh, about uh, about Linda Lou and uh, so anyway uh, Washboard Judy has this uh, picking party uh, last night uh, in, in my honor I guess so Washboard Judy throws together this picking party and Linda Lou just kind of invites herself to the party and I'm thinking, oh my God, judging by what Linda Lou looked like uh, two and a half years ago, I was thinking, I, I, you know, uh, Jesus Christ, what, a, what are we going to be, you know, have to deal with? And I was really sorry that she was showing up at the party. So I go to this party last night. I'm sitting there, sitting there at this picking party, and the chair next to me, uh, becomes available. I'm talking 14 inches from me. 14 inches from me. And this attractive, I would say 45 year old woman shows up. Uh, th this good looking 45 year old woman, uh, slim, fit, uh, well dressed in these tight fitting black bell bottoms and this uh, kind of fufu top that she was wearing. Her hair was about as long as mine uh, and obviously dyed a jet black. The woman, she comes in and I'm looking uh, kind of out of the corner of my eye at her thinking, okay, how am I going to start chatting up? this attractive 40-something uh, woman, uh, apparently here by herself at this picking party. I, I, you're thinking, what is the hell is the universe put in Hambone's lap? She completely ignores me. Okay, I am invisible. She's, she's 14 inches from me. She looks right at me, right through me, completely d just acting like I do not exist uh, at basically a party that was being uh, partially held in my honor and and, uh, and, and and so then she starts talking to other people so uh, and everybody uh, she clearly everybody in my close circle of friends knew who this woman was I'm sitting right next to her I am hearing her voice I'm hearing the woman's voice uh, talking to uh, a bunch of my close friends like she knows all of these people, all of these people know her, listening to this woman's voice, never heard this voice before in my life. Then she proceeds to pull out a flute. She pulls out a flute, starts, uh, you know, puts her flute together and starts playing flute to whatever song this very beautiful quiet respectful flute playing uh, I'm thinking well I say you know who is this uh, attractive 40 something flute player uh, that that has showed up in my life and I'm uh, did sitting there trying to figure out you know, I was trying to think of some, you know, hambone witticism to get this, uh, you know, this woman's attention. Uh, and then, I don't know what it was when it kicked in who the hell it was. That, 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 that was Linda Lou. Uh, and it was... I mean, I was in the fucking Twilight Zone. I don't know how many of you are Carlos Castaneda readers. I think it might have been the fifth book 
somewhere around the fifth book that opening chapter that went on for like 57 pages uh, talking about that woman uh, who did who was not I, I, I don't know uh, how uh, it, it took Carlos Castaneda 57 pages to try to explain what I'm talking about that the the, the person in front of me what would it had not just changed since the last time I saw her uh, it, it was a different human being uh, I, I'm talking physically I'm talking energetically uh, physically mentally energetically uh, her voice uh, had changed and, and, and the, the biggest mystery is she she's three inches taller than she was in November of 2019 I've known I've known Linda Lou I've known this woman for over 20 years and she always used to come up to about my chin and now she comes up uh, to uh, my eyes so either I have shrunk three inches over since November of 2019 which is possible either I shrunk three inches or she grew three inches when she dropped that 100 pounds uh, and so obviously I needed an explanation of, 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 of who this I called her a walk-in if you know that term walk-in where you know it's usually talking about how a space alien or some uh, foreign entity takes over someone's uh, takes over someone's body. Uh, all right, do I get off here? It looks like this is the wreck right here. Uh, you know these walk-ins. That when a when when a total stranger takes over a person's body, this was not the same human being. Not only was it not the same human being from two and a half years ago, it was this was not the same human being that I have known for 20 years. So uh, Carlos Castaneda was right. I, I mean, it, it was spooky, guys. Uh, <clears throat> You can change. It 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 it, it, it is possible. And uh, but but it's more than a weight loss thing. But uh, you know all of these women. Uh, like when I was out at that uh, at the folk festival all last week, and looking at all of my friends, these you know these uh, attractive women. Uh, you know, in my close circle of friends who I hadn't seen in tears, and I'm thinking, who the hell are all of these fat, you know, these tubs of lard waddling around her? Who are all of these old fat women? What in the fuck uh, has happened? Uh, what what are they saying? Don't I remember reading that? Uh, 41 pounds that the average American has gained 41 pounds during the corona panic while uh, Linda Lou has lost 100 pounds she is slimmer than she has ever been close to one half of what she weighed and I and I asked her what in the hell happened and she told me she met this dude 20 years younger than her. She doesn't call herself a cougar. She calls herself a puma. And she uh, got the hots for this uh, dude 20 years younger than her. And she just said, fuck it. I'm tired of looking. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm 50, I guess 56 years old. Uh, I'm tired of looking like a fat fucking tub of lard. And she said, I'm done with it. And uh, I don't know what the hell she did, but ladies, she dropped 
100 pounds in the past two years. And, uh, you know, I mentioned the same thing with this chick that I met on Pile of Fish down there in Florida, uh, who cut her weight and she, you know, was up to 260 and, uh, and cut her weight down to 130 and had 20 and, you know, she was aiming for 110. So, uh, it, 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 it ain't washing with me, ladies. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what to say, but uh, I've seen it with my own fucking eyes that uh, you can become a new human. If, as soon as you decide it is time to get rid uh, uh, of that fucking lead ass uh, and, and, and get rid of it. But, uh... It, it, if Linda Lou, uh, of all people on this planet, uh, can do it, I, I mean, I mean, so can you. Anyway, then don't tell me you can't. Don't want to hear the fucking excuses anymore, girls, and and guys too. I, I, I mean, I admit, I mean, I'm 15 pounds overweight. Uh, I could lose. I have the ability to lose 15 pounds uh, of my own uh, spare tire uh, when I decide it, it, it is no longer uh, that it, you know it would serve me better to to lose 15 pounds. I, I could lose it. It, it. it is a matter. It is will power. What it is. It's willpower. Uh, it's not fucking metabolism. Uh, it, it, it's not endocrine uh, disruptors. It's willpower. Anyway, that is my warm and fuzzy. Uh, my warm and fuzzy uh, Mother's Day. Uh, rant for today for all you fat mamas who are sick and tired of being fat mamas uh, make a goddamn commitment today that next Mother's Day you are no longer going to be a fat mama but if you're like my mama you know who uh, decided that the only reason she is starving herself to death is to look good uh, for a man and she decided uh, it was more important to her to eat whatever the fuck she felt like eating than it was to get a man. So if it's more important to you to eat than it is to fuck, uh, go ahead and eat whatever you want to. Anyway, there you go. Enough, uh, enough of that. But, uh... Good God, where are we? We are up to 97. We are now at 97 and climbing as I head into the oven. So I will be heading back to New York, baby, Tuesday morning. Come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I will be home in one week, baby. Bye, guys.